Hi, it's Tuesday, it's time for Pick of the Week. I'm Lady Lex UK and this is my section from the 13th of September. Now, I've attempted to do this a few times this morning and there is a bug in dreams, which means uh, that occasionally files go missing. Um, I found a tweet from a couple of weeks ago, actually, which suggested that uh, you reboot dreams and they will come back and voila, I rebooted your dreams and they all came back. Um, but this is a, a, a major problem. Um, if you are having this issue, please find my bug report on the feedback form of uh, in dreams and just add information for Media Molecule because when it's just my voice, it sounds like it's just my issue. I know there are lots of you out there that have also got this issue and it's causing you uh, a lot of annoyance. Um, you have to tell Media Molecule we have to do it in numbers, otherwise it's just me complaining and nothing gets done. So um, please, if you are having issues with cannot find file messages when you're uh, trying to access things, or you've made collections and everything is suddenly looks as if it's all private when it really isn't, um, please let Media Molecule know that there is an issue so that they can fix it. Right then. Hopefully, uh, all these games are going to work now, so let's go in, uh, start with the elements. Simple Large Warehouse by Blinding Fire 318. Uh, this is a really great uh, set prop. Um, so you just stamp this in and immediately you have a full set for you to use. You can add to this, make this a, a full warehouse, put some cardboard boxes in, etc. Excellent for like a post-apocalyptic scene with all the broken windows and everything, but you could always replace these windows if you wanted this as a, a useful thing. I also think it'd be a good idea to take the ends off of this, make this into an aircraft hangar, take these pillars out. Um, it'd be useful for that too. So it's only 6%, I believe, thermo. So a pretty useful for very large um, set design there, just straight off the bat. Um, here, um, this is a dream, it's not an element, and I don't think these are actually available as assets, and if they were, they'd probably be hugely high in thermo. Let's just update this. Um, it's called Subject by Haleb Donskoff, and as you can see, there's lots of different objects that he's put in this. So we start off, we have a, a nice ring, with a, a blue stone and it's got all the carving for the gold I think it would have been better if that had been smooth around the edges but I mean it's a beautiful looking thing the stone is lovely very impressive look at that beautiful stone um, the next one is a bottle uh, they've used the uh, paint effects I think here to create the tra transparency it's a little, well, as you can see, sparkly, I think is the, is the word we've got. So it's not overly effective as a transparent object, but then it's very difficult to get transparent objects into dreams. So, uh, but it's a really nice effect all the same. Uh, our next one is another ring. This one doesn't turn. And then we have this one. Oops. I don't know what happened there. Oh well, there's lots of different rings that they've made. I like this effect with the uh, sparkles in the background and the, f the flag, I think that's a flag in the background, and maybe a tree. Really lovely designs, the whole thing. Another bottle. It's got a little baby in it. It's rather disturbing. Right. And a mushroom. Toadstool. Lots of paint fleck effects on that one. Now we're back to the ring. Now where was it that we went to and I accidentally skipped it? Didn't mean to. Yeah, this one. There we go. So this is like a hundred eyes and a web spider spider ring. And this one's an eyeball. Lots of really good um, texturing and uh, different texture effects so you've got your metal and the the eyeball itself is a different uh, texture again really nicely done it's nice to see and uh, nicely made things right art and set design uh, Japanese diorama by Zuridi I'm gonna have to mute this um, from the gameplay point of view because it contains um, a song arrangement um, of a piece of music 
that's not copyright free. Um, it's very Japanese, this little Japanese shop. It's sort of a style of a like a toy, like a little toy model. It's really nicely done. I, I love the style of this. I like dioramas. It's quite fun to make a diorama. So imagine um, you're making something that's like, made of like clay or um, resin or something like that. The, the, the British wording on this is a bit word. Feet number six and better place. It's a bit, a bit of a weird name. Feet number six. What an odd name. So maybe this person doesn't speak English and they're just, just putting in words. Um, English words. A bit like when we put in Japanese symbols and hope, hope we're spelling things that are not, not wrong. So there we are. It's a, it's a lovely little diorama, that. Fun little exercise to do, and it really helps you with your sculpting skills as well. Um, because you're going for realism, but in a very small scale. Um, you can start off with it looking like real, but a toy. And then you can get like real and not a toy. Yeah. That's rather good. Right, this is Flectropolis. 3% thermo, it says. Um, they are making a low thermo project. This is 100% fleck. And I think what they mean by that is um, they've just used the paint tool. Uh, it says there is zero sculpture data. So they've not used any sculptures. So that's interesting. So it's 3% thermo just with paint. And this is the effect. And I think this looks pretty cool. It's um, got lots of movement in it. All the cars racing up and down the roads. Lots of light in all the all the buildings. Camera work is really good. Very cinematic. I think that's pretty amazing, really. Be interested to see what the project ends up. That really doesn't look like they've just used paint, though, does it? Really does look like they've used sculpts. And if you were to use sculpts, it would probably look very similar. But there you are. Very nice. Right, animations now. Um, uh, I wasn't sent any, so I s scouted the, the Dream Reverse looking for it. I found three pieces of music that I quite liked. Uh, the first one is the Dream Reverse song. It's part an entry for the Science Explained Community Jam. I think they're stretching the Community Jam theme a little bit with this, but hey. Um, this is by Falco Rich and the Tenier. Now, I will say this is not the best singing or the best lyrics or the best tune or the best combination of all of those put together. But what it is, is a celebration of what it is to be a dreamer and um, be in dreams. So uh, for that, it should be praised. And so I'm going to play the whole song to you now. Here we go. Dream Reverse Song by Flaukerich and the Tenier. What is the dream reverse? Let me get someone to explain it. The whole Dreamiverse was started by Meiji Molecule They carried the whole development like a mule They go by the motto of Play, Create, Share That no one else can compare Alex did a tech demo in 2013 Showing cool Dreamiverse like things like a team Dreams Vita came next in 2018 With a bubble back engine tool that's quite keen Then early access began in 2019 Causing the dream of a vertical that no one's ever seen. We stamped a cube, a sphere, and then a pyramid. Making cool stuff for the dream of that will blow your lid. The launch arrived on Valentine's in 2020, along with Archstream that made the dream of quite feisty. Soon after, we got VR, and we feel like we can even touch a star. More awesome additions to the dream of will surely follow. We will have to try hard not to bellow There's no telling how big the Dreamiverse will get It all started with Little Big Planet Yay! Well there you go It's a brave man who tries to rhyme 2020 with feisty It's a, <laughs> it's a very strange little song But um, a lot of fun There we go, the Dreamiverse song Right, next one is Jungle. Let me just reset that by Pudazuka. Uh, it's a very simple little set and uh, little animated notes. 
So that was Jungle. And our next one is called Magic Banana by Bean Bob 101, a visual song, it says. So best play. Fabulous, very 80s, psychedelic. I hope you're not now hungry because I've been flashing bananas in front of you. Um, as for everything in here, if you like anything that I play and uh, you want to show your appreciation, please go into the Dreamiverse and thumb up these creations. Um, the people that make these, they don't see the likes on my videos. Um, they need to see it on theirs. So please um if you like anything if you appreciate what i'm playing here please go into the universe and press the thumbs up on things you like people are complaining that nobody's playing their games people are complaining that um the only things that get liked are these awful memes and um and childish things if you don't want that to become the norm then you must like the good stuff that's all i can say and play more i can i can't emphasize this enough if you are a creator in dreams you should spend at least one maybe an hour even if it's just an hour a week and you can spread that over the week just playing other people's stuff because you can't expect people to play your stuff if you're not playing their stuff because if everybody in the dreamiverse are just creating and not playing you're going to have this problem where people are going to go I made this fantastic thing and only two people played it. Um, so you've you've got if you if you create, you also have to play. That's how I feel. Um, I play a lot of stuff. I create a lot of stuff, and um, I try to keep it on level so that um, I play more than I create. I would say, um, but then I create an awful lot of stuff. So, I don't know. swings and roundabouts. Right onto the games then. Uh, this is Breakaway. This is a VR compatible game, but is totally uh, playable uh, without VR. Um, I should imagine it's it's um, it's good in both. Um, I haven't played it in VR, so um, maybe if you if you've played it in VR and you'd like to leave in the comments, say what the experience is like. It's very cool, and I've just done that, and I don't need to. Right, okay. Low dog gun. Here we go, see how I can do. So it's a shooting gallery. You've got to be quite precise with it. There we go. Oh yes, I beat my score. I love that. I love the fact that I'm able to beat my score. 
Always reload after you've uh, shot between rounds. Did I miss it? Oh uh, no. Oh, I missed it again. There we go. Got it. Yeah, you see, I didn't beat my top score. Never mind. So um, this is what this game is. It's lots of different rounds. I, I really like the way that the uh, the different rounds pop up. It's very cool. Uh, this one's a little bit more difficult because it's at weird angles. Also, it's really hard to miss some of these things. There we are, I beat my score. All by 0 0.23 seconds. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyway, there we go. That was Breakaway. Really great game. I recommend that one. Uh, right. Super Happy Fun Time Racing 2 by Timmy Chomp 1. It says, try it, you'll like it. Commander Riker brought it back from Riser. Very wary of anything Commander Riker brings back from Riser. It might be infectious. Right. Right. Okay, off we go. This is um, a nice basic racing game, not too taxing. Um, the sweeps and everything are not like too major, so it's not too difficult. So. A lot of these racing games that I've been playing has got lots of chicanes and things in and I'm constantly in, in the sides. And as you can see, I'm doing quite well for me. I'm not bouncing off the sides. I'm about to bounce off the sides now that I've said it. Yeah, like that. Boom. <laughs> it looks a little familiar. I'm not 100% sure whether I've played a version of this or... Um, something very similar to this but um, what I liked about this one is uh, this part I know California is on fire right now and probably you don't want to be reminded but there you go I think that was quite well done all the smoke and everything and the flames makes it a little bit different to your normal racing game whoa We'll do up just a single lap. I'll get to the city here. It's a really long lap. Oh, I'm bouncing off the walls now. Music is also cool. It'd be really good if there could have been other cars on the track. Um, I find that it's more exciting if you've got cars. There's a car in front of me, Doc. Oh, didn't catch it up. <laughs> I just said. It'd be good if there was a car and I think is there a car in front of me is that a mirage it's that far ahead oh my god I flipped it what happened um, oh god which way am I facing oh no I've ruined it now <laughs> I was doing so well for me they're all applauding they shouldn't have been applauding that that was appalling there you go. <laughs> Terrible. But yes, very good game. Uh, nice set. Only 15 thumbs up this. Let's get some more up for that. I think it deserves more because it's a decent racer. Right. Binary Bash now. Learn binary with Bernard the Monkey. I don't know if this is part of the science uh, game jam, but likely, I would have thought. So press any button. Going to tutorial mode. So what you gotta do is they give you a number and then you've got to go along and uh, choose the numbers. So we're, we're at 96, 112, 112. Oh, I didn't do it in time. <laughs> okay. 
64, 32, 16, and 2, and 1. There we go. I got the right numbers. Right, 52. So, 32. Whoops. 48. Uh, 4. There we go. You've got to do it quite quickly because you run out of time. So, 32, 48, and 2. That's all you got to do. Go back to the main menu. Standard mode. Normal, it says. Let's try it. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. 17. So that's 16. And one. 39. 32. Four. Five, six, seven. Right, 16. Boom. 42. 32. Eight. Two. There we go. I'm doing all right. 64. Uh, uh, have I done that right? That's 2 1. Oh, I didn't do it in time. Oh, damn. <laughs> 32, 33, 36. No, got that wrong. <laughs> but you lose it, you lose it. 64, 96. 7, 9, 8, 9, 9. I got one. I got bananas. Uh, 32 and 8. 46. 32. Uh, 8, 4, 2, 1. Oh, damn it. It's really hard to do it in time. Anyway, there you go. You get to play a maths game. <laughs> Danica and the payoff wizard. Learn bin binary and... Um, get bananas why not right prison escape now let me just restart this um i'm gonna have to mute the beginning of this because it uses gangster's paradise please don't put people's music in your games um by rights i wouldn't be playing this but um yeah i can mute it so um they've made this relatively difficult to get your first level but never mind there we go right so we've got to find an id card with a password to escape from the prison and um you can open up the lockers that's a red one so you can get inside to hide you can check the bins um and you've got to avoid the guards with their red torches. So I avoided that one. Oh, 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 gold. I'm trapped between two guards. This could be bad. Oh! Yeah, I did not get away with that. Right, okay. Now, I'm, I'm assuming it's in the same place every time. So... Check the bin. Is it in there? No. Let's get inside there. Oh. Okay, I've man managed to avoid them for now. Oh. <laughs> I don't know where I need to go. That's the trouble. It's got me a little bit further in. Not overly helpful though. Um, I still don't know where the the pass key is. Okay, can we get in there? We can't get in there. Oh right, okay. Um, am I safe here? Ooh, this is dodgy. No. Oh god. Ah. It says I picked up the ID card. I didn't notice. I could have got to the door. Have I still got it? No. Okay. All right. There we go. I've hidden from him. So, was it in the trash? I'm wondering.
Not sure whether the plasky is in a random place or the same place every time. Oh no. Oh yes, ID card picked up, picked up. So it's in that trash bag. Right, right, okay. In the bin. Right. Okay. Okay, okay. I can escape. I can escape. Access granted. Yay! So, um, it's great, but please remove the IP stolen music. It's, it's, it, you shouldn't do it. It's against the rules of dreams and that can make your game come down. Why use it? There's plenty of people out there that can make you really great music that you can use. <gasps> right. <coughs> <coughs> okay, my dreams next. Headless Blonde. A compilation of current projects I am working. Okay. So what fascinated me about this is is there's different games. So I've had a look in the in the house. It's a, like a little horror thing. And then I went into the cave and it was a, like a platformer. So I don't know what else there is. Um, there's something over here. It looks like um okay there's a standing stone thing let's go in here i haven't tried this yet so i don't know what this is like okay l1 to equip light lantern x to jump show high controls right it's, it's first person um I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do or where I'm supposed to go. Am I looking for a cave? <coughs> Excuse me, I've just had an apple and it's got <coughs> it's got a bit stuck in my throat. Um Hello. That is suddenly all lit up. What's happening? Um. Oh. Oh, hello. I have fallen into um, a creepy hole. Um, it looks as if I can get up that way, but perhaps I should investigate down here a bit. Put my lantern on. Ooh. It's a... Oh, it's a grave. It's a... It's a crypt. Mm hmm. Is there something down here for me to pick up or anything? A couple of graves. Okay. Let's go up. So it's interesting that this guy uh, he's done multiple games and he's decided to put all tiny little bits of games and he's put them. Oh, look, we've ended up over here. Um, he's put them all in um, a hub. Which is interesting. But there's no way to get back to um to back to get back to the hub. Um once you've sort of viewed these little bits. So you have to keep going back, um, resetting it and what have you. But uh, it's interesting. There's there's a few in there to have a look at anyway. Um But maybe concentrate on one and finish one. Um but I, I like the way that is going anyway. Right, Speed Tron by Java. Battle with five opponents in race mode or get your best mark in time trial mode. Another mm -hmm. racing game for me to crash into the walls. Um, <laughs> so this is VR compatible. So uh, let me know in the comments what it's like in VR. This is an interesting hub. So we've got uh, time trial, race different difficulties time trial in reverse race medium difficulty in reverse um i can barely i can barely move cars forward so we'll go with the time trial let's let's go with the car time trial so um star it says okay okay we're off 
this has a really futuristic look to it. Whoa. I'm bouncing off the sides. It has a nice clean cartoon look. Um, good use of sound effects. I really get the, the sense of uh, the spinning wheels and the squeezing of brakes and everything as I move. Oh my god. Again, we'll just do a single lap. But you must check out these games. It's very important that people play more. Otherwise, we're going to lose dreams because people will, will not want to create. Because we won't be the point if nobody plays it. So I've got to try and encourage everybody to play more. It would help if there wasn't a bug that stops you from playing these things. But hey, that will get sorted. That is just a little minor glitch right now. It will be sorted. Still on lap one. Like I've not even got to the end yet. Oh my god. Oh electric spiking stuff. Oh my goodness. Oh, it's just constantly bashing into the sides. And it makes the there we go, I'm on lap two. Um it makes the controller vibrate and everything, so you really feel it when you bash into the sides there. Pretty good. Um, there's an awful lot of really good racing games in Dreams. So if you like racing games, um, this is this is a good place for nice free racing games. Um, we could have tried that with five opponents in race mode. Should we just have a quick look? If that was a time trial. Let's just have a quick look in race mode. We'll go for medium difficulty. So I got a good chance of seeing the cars for. A split second at least. <laughs> Here we are. Here are the cars we're racing against. And we're off. Oh, I'm bashed in the back of that one. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so much, much more fun when you've got other cars to race against, I think. And I've taken over. I'm in the lead. Yes. I won't be for long though, they'll probably, if I keep crashing into the sides, they'll, that, they'll do that. <laughs> Brilliant, love it. Oh, I've got to get off the side, come on! Right. Oh dear. Anyway, there we go. We've already gone round it once. Very nice. Right, um, next one. Uh, Kalu's Journey Chapter 2 by Alex Six Burr. Um, this is very um, beautiful to look at. It's um, very nicely designed. And there's a couple of... Uh, it says your progress is, progress is saved automatically. So I'd be interested to see where we start then. Where do we start at the beginning? Yeah. A very nice look to this. They've gone with a very pink palette, which which is nice. It makes the, the game stand out. Lovely opening cutscene with the crow.
is really nice the way they've done this little animated drawing simple to do but very effective I say simple to do I mean, you have to be able to draw <laughs> so we've got to catch some fish and get some sticks so here's our character she's lovely look at look at that beautifully made right L1 to smell flowers there we go I smelt some flowers now the fish are over here I had a go at catching some fish earlier you've got to approach the fish carefully and then press the circle to catch the fish there it is there right so we're gonna go fishing with our hands we'll get in the water right L2 to walk slowly and R2 to sprint right let's just find ourselves a fish um, might help if I don't sort of walk too splashy there's one there's one there's one over there there we go oh I've thrown it Uh, oh, okay. I think I've got it. Okay, I think I've got this one. No. Oh, I've thrown, I've thrown it out of the lake. That's probably helpful. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, where's it gone now? Has it gone back in the water? Ooh. Okay. Oh, catch it, catch it, catch it, catch it. Have I got it? No. It's still running away from me. There we go. I've caught a fish. I love the little piano thing every time you do anything. Look at that. And the fish is now hanging off the back. Look. Isn't that cool? <laughs> now I've got to find some sticks. I've got to find some more fish and I've got to find some sticks. So it says you can... Um, current quest. I've got to collect two, two fish and three sticks. And increase your inventory size by finding flowers. So this is beautifully done. Uh, close the menu. So the menu and everything else is just, it's just great. There we go. I keep getting messages that saying I'm doing better as soon as I do anything. There's an awful lot of uh, things to score on this. Look at that. Just... <laughs> Best of 15, I don't know why. I'm obviously scoring points and it's going to keep doing this. I'm not 100% sure I want it to do that. It's a little distracting all the time. But there we are, look. Yeah, that's a little annoying. So um, then we need to do something about that. So this score keep going up and this message keep coming out. That's not fun, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, great game, great, uh, great looking game. Right, and now we've got three um, that don't fit into these categories. So we've got Cretaceous Cruise, Dinosaur River. I'll just go from where I start, left it, hopefully. It'll probably start from the beginning again, it generally does. <laughs> yeah, it started from the beginning again. So we've got some um, duck build dinosaurs. I can't remember the names of them. Hadrosaurs, is it? I think. Now, in Project Spark, there was a lot of these type of levels where um, people created theme park rides. Some of them um, theme park rides that existed, like um, Disney rides, Pirates of the Caribbean, that sort of thing. And other people made fantasy ones. Um, if they were creating a theme park ride not based on anything in particular and then there was people that took um a, like a movie or something and made a theme park ride out of it uh, a friend of mine used to make lots of horror uh themed ones horror movie themed ones so i'm surprised i don't see more of this type of thing in dreams because it's actually quite easy to do 
So there we are, Cretaceous Cruise, a voyage through the West. Just wanted to show that off as something um, that's relatively easy to do uh, and, and quite effective. So you could have um, a, a trip through uh, a theme park that you've invented and maybe uh, put a Dreamiverse theme park together. So you go past Connie and Cuthbert doing something over here and then there's Frederick Fox and his little village or whatever. I think it'd be quite fun uh, to do. Maybe that's going to be another Dreamscom thing. We'll make a, a theme park ride. So there we are. Um, here we have Satisfying Spinning Disc Animation with the Music. Now this hasn't been released as remixable. Um, it would be nice if that could be released as remixable because having music visualizers uh, in dreams that you can remix and put your own music in is a great way of presenting your music uh, for those that um, are not good at the uh, the visuals but really good at the music um, it's best to have a little bit of a visual presentation behind the or track rather than just release the music and uh, People that make these visualizers here, these are so fantastic. It'd be great if um, other people could use them, really. I know they say, send me your music and I'll put it in, but it's not quite the same. I think it's great. This looks so amazing. And you can change the mood and the, um, it says change the mood. We're now in red mood. orange mood, yellow, and green, and we can up the brightness of the sky, and it says we can change the speed, I presume that's not the music, that's the speed of the spinning thing, there we are, and we can change the track. So it's very cool. I think it's really nice. People use um, kaleidoscopes and things to make this sort of thing. Um, it's really cool. It's really cool when put with a piece of music that matches it. It's really great. Right, another sciencey thing now by Mark J. Cookman, an interactive periodic table, uh, part of the Science Explained Community Jam. Um, I just thought this was, um, a lot of work was put into this quite clearly um, and the way this works with all the highlighting and the, the sounds and everything, so I go into there, Samarium, it gives me some information where, who discovered it, what it is, yeah, there's an awful lot of information in here, Indium. Indian metal sticks to glass and can be used to give a mirror finish to windows of tall buildings. There we are. Cobalt. Transition metal discovered by George Brandt in 1735. There we are. One of the magnetic elements. There we are. It's it's really, really quite, quite uh, informative. Um, it's just that uh, that's an awful lot of text gadgets and a lot of typing in. Uh, and I appreciate the, the work that's gone into that. There we are. That's why I thought I'd choose that. So there we go. There was this week's pick of the week. I hope you enjoyed that selection. Um, always, if you're having any issues with dreams, please let me do Molecule know. Um, and uh, if you want your, your creation have a chance to be in pick of the week, um, it's a good idea to send me it using the send to link and then send to a dreamer. It doesn't have to be yours. It can be something you've seen in the dream of us that you think I might like. I'm quite happy to receive um, all links. Um, but um, please, I don't want to be spammed. If you want to send me multiple games, it's probably a good idea to put them in a collection and send me a link to the collection. Um, otherwise, um, I, my notifications get a bit swamped. Um, so, thanks for watching and uh, I'll catch you in your dreams. <laughs>